So recently we took a trip to JNL OSC to see how their oil catch cans were made. While we were there visiting, they gave us, they were so nice, to give us two oil catch can kits, one for each of our Broncos free of charge in exchange for a fair and honest install review. In this video, I'm going to be, I'm going to install this catch can on my Bronco and then in another video, Dwayne and Gavin will install one on Dwayne's Bronco. Let's see who does it better. I'm Becky and tonight we have a little fun adventure. I'm going to be installing a JNL OSC oil separator or catch can, whichever term you prefer. So come on over, let me show you what's in the box. And just one caveat, I'm not mechanically inclined, so I'm dubbing this so simple, even an accountant can do it, okay? So here we have the oil separator. Look at that, it's even engraved. Isn't that cool? Nice. And the cool thing is we took a field trip to their shop and we got to see them engrave these. It was pretty cool. So in the box, we have the oil catch can or separator and the bracket, which is also engraved with the company's emblem, JNL OSC, and it's got the nuts and bolts. So in order to do this, we will need a Phillips head screwdriver and a 10 millimeter socket. So first we're going to go ahead and um, put this bracket together over here on my husband's lovely kind of messy workbench. I'm invading on his territory tonight because knowing my klutzy self, I would end up dropping these lovely little bolts in the engine and then have to crawl under and get them and no one needs to see that. So first we're going to install the bracket on the separator and oh, just one caveat. This is the 3.0 can. If you desire the 6.0, if you really want to catch some oil, you can go with the bigger version. This is the smaller one. So we just, we figured we would try this first and they come in silver and also black and I opted for silver. So it would be seen a little bit better under the hood of the Bronco. So we're going to just install this bracket real quick or not so quick. You can do it. I have fumble fingers tonight. So I guess the hardest part is lining it up. Well, once you get it started, once you get yeah, to Yeah, if I can get it started. Okay. So a steady hand is helpful, but nothing strenuous, nothing hard. Man, where's that magnetic screwdriver when you need it? Well, first I guess I should line the holes up properly. So nothing hard about this so far. But we haven't gotten to the nuts and bolts yet. <laughs> no pun intended. So here's the other screw or bolt that comes with it. So that's gonna go here. Okay, so now we're at the Bronco. I'm on my ladder because I'm short and we're gonna install this little fun gadget. So when you first get it out of the box, your little plugs right here may not be pointed in the right direction, but you can spin these around. Just food for thought. Because of the angle that it goes in here, it won't work if they're spun the wrong way. So here's the bolt here that we're gonna use to mount to this little thing in the Bronco. I'm not sure what that's called. It is a, just an unused. An outlet maybe. Okay, so the guys at the factory told me just to snug this in place, not totally tighten it until everything else is in place. 
So that's what I'm doing now. Okay, so it's snug. So it's just sitting there. All right, so now that we've affixed this to the Bronco, it's a little wiggly still. So we can work with it and move it. We've got to disconnect this air hose. So there's a little button on the back side. You've got to push it in and then pull that off. So there's the one. And then we've got to disconnect the second one, which is right here, the second side rather. Okay, so that was easy. They're right so far. Okay, so then we're gonna connect this to that outlet. Ta-da! Oh, that was easy. Snap on, snap off. And then here's the second one. Oh, and I'm gonna lose parts in the Bronco tonight. I can see it. So this is what I was talking about as far as twisting these to get them to work. That wasn't too hard. So we're just gonna snap up. Oh, so everything snapped on. I think we're about done. So now we just wanna make sure that nothing's in a bind before we tighten this up. So just check to make sure you don't have any kinks or anything. And it looks like the layout here is pretty good for a first timer. And so we're just gonna tighten this. Yep, that's tight now. All right, so now we've got it bolted and all hooked up. So I can say that I agree as a non-mechanical person that this was a very easy install. I would hold on to this just in case you ever want to remove this catch can for future use. Um, so I'm going to put this in a safe spot. But if you're considering getting this and you're like me, you don't do a whole lot mechanically, you can do this. All right, so we're going to put a link for this JNL. OSC in the description section below so you can order one if you wish. So Dwayne asked me to tell everyone that we have a kit to test the oil and to get a baseline. Um, so we're going to test the oil after 5,000 miles of having this catch can to see how much it's improved. So thanks for watching this and watch me be mechanically inclined for the night. And if you would hit the like button and just leave a comment below. That'd be great. See you next time.